guys ready for an update on our fixer upper house? We've made a lot of progress and so today I thought it would be fun just to do a little um, update tour. We are moving in uh, right as I film this video, just taking a little break. Um, we will go through the house tour, show you where we're at. All right, so here we are. I'm standing at the front door. Um, we've actually made a lot of progress. We initially, this um, whole fireplace um, hearth was just our basically our tool lay down area. And um, so we've got that all cleaned up finally. So let me just walk you around. Um, um, we hung up the mantle that was gifted to us and that was scary. I have never hung a mantle into um, brick and so we rented a hammer drill from Home Depot and got that puppy up but it was I was stressed but it worked so got that I love it we actually um, didn't center it let me back up here so you can see we um, put it flush with the edge because the fireplace is not centered so I thought it looked best like that Still haven't painted any of the interior doors yet. Um, I'm going to put some trim, some trim on them to um, make them look like more expensive, more custom than just hollow core doors. So we brought over, well, this, you just saw this post on my blog. If not, you need to go check it out. This is my um, uh, thrift the look challenge project and our theme this time was eclectic decor, so that was my project for that. I don't know how this is going to look with that big window there, but I brought one of my blanket ladders over. have not painted the front door yet. Um, brought a couple chairs and the couch that we'll be using up here. I wonder if you can see this. Anyway, it's hard. To, this window is huge, which I love. I hung up the curtain rod yesterday. Um, everything is freshly painted. I'm going to pop in some before shots while you're watching this so you can have a comparison. I made my basket light, my basket pendant light. I still need to fiddle with the cord a little bit, but for now it's it's up. It's at the height that we want it. This table was a Facebook marketplace find. It's vintage, probably, I don't know, 70s maybe. I love it. It was 25 bucks, but I like it. It's cool. Um, brought over, this is going to be where my plants are. Never mind the tri camera tripod. Still, these are all the cabinet doors from the kitchen. We still um, have work to do on those. Uh, let's see, let me turn around here. Got a rug. I will link it below, but rug for the dining room. It's huge. It's washable. I think that'll be cool. Okay, and then let me flip around. Um, so all Tobin has replaced all of the outlets and light switches which was a big job and a complicated job because it's old wiring so it took a long time so that's an accomplishment and um, the refrigerator is in the middle of the kitchen right now because he is working on get, so there's no plug-ins on this side and so he's working on they have these kits uh, that you can buy at Home Depot they come with the channel there's some of the channel um, and you buy they come with a little box so you can give yourself some extra outlets so we used the one off the that the fridge was plugged into and he's gonna give us an outlet right here and then we're gonna come up and go through the cupboards go through the cupboards here and come out here because this is where we're gonna put our microwave right above the um, oven <clears throat> that's going to be the best spot for us we ordered a new convection microwave that will match the 
black appliances that we have. So we got to get that shelf out of there and then there will be a plug-in probably like on the side over here so that we can plug the microwave in and then we might try and um, you know make it look built in kind of like this looks. So that's why the refrigerator is. Well, you know we thought about um, a, a microwave range hood but our space between this is an old house so the space between the cupboards and the range I don't think is as big as they are in newer houses and we looked at a low profile but you couldn't even stick a large cup of coffee in there to heat it up so we just decided to keep this range hood and get a microwave up here a convection microwave so um we got the new kitchen floor in so happy with it I love it that took us um, probably maybe a full day. I mean, we worked on it over a few days, but if we were to add it all up, it would have been like one whole day probably. Like I said, we don't have the cabinet doors on back on yet. I have work to do on those, but we're trying to get the big stuff done so we can move in. My new IKEA kitchen light. And I got this light at the Habitat for Humanity store and I painted the base just a, it was like $3, just a standard old fashioned light fixture. And I painted the base gold. There was a can light here before and I bought a can light converter kit so that you can hang anything here. So you could put a pendant here or this kind of light. So I did that. Um, we still, I still need to clean the grout and stuff and I've got a plan for the countertops. So let me, t let me go back this way cause I can't get by the bridge. So you can get a new, a different view. I am going to, so see the fireplace wraps around, which is kind of cool. I'm going to get some tile stickers, I think, and do something cool there. Not sure what yet. I just did this stair runner yesterday. I'm so happy with it. I'll show you a little bit more in a minute. So this um, wall is not painted yet. We're gonna paint it black and we're gonna recreate the slat wall that we did at Tobin's house. And so um, I just, we're not messing with that yet. Downstairs is still a mess, but we'll go down there in a minute. Back to the kitchen. Um, this light also was from Habitat. It's actually, I think it's an Ikea light, but I think it's an old one. And it's, I don't know if you can see, it's perforated. So it should give off some cool designs. But so I converted it with a pendant light kit. And it's hanging real low right now because we're going to have a little table dining not dining table but like a breakfast nook tiny table right here and so I want to swag the light and so it's just hanging until we figure out exactly where it'll go this wall also is not done yet because I'm gonna wallpaper it and I'm so excited you I can't even wait to show you the wallpaper I got it is so cool but that project has to wait this is the back other way to the kitchen so everything's, like I said, been freshly painted. It feels so nice in here. I just did this stair runner, like I said yesterday. I still need to tack this um, bottom edge down. Um, I had to paint, I had to do some wood filler on the bottom and paint it, so I'm waiting for that to dry. These are little two by three area rugs that I found at Lowe's, and I bought seven of them and which I only used three here and so when I do the ones down to the basement I think it should only take three more so I should have an extra left but um anyway that was kind of, it was a little bit of a project but so they're nice they have padding under them I mean, it feels like you're walking up on a cloud <laughs> up the stairs <laughs> so let's go up here 
The bathroom, we haven't done much in the bathroom yet except paint. Well, and we put up new new lights. Whoa. Put up new lights, put up new towel hooks for each of us. Um, a new toilet paper holder that has paper towels behind it because we're not sh we're checking to see if it leaks the toilet runs and we can't figure out it's like it's leaking but we don't know where it's going so i don't know but it doesn't the paper towels are not getting wet so i don't know now might just need new guests anyway the paper towel holder has a shelf because we actually have a little bidet that goes on the top of the toilet and you plug it in and so and it has a remote <laughs> So, you know, it's the little things in life. I put some hooks up here for our towels and robes. Um, this light is new. It's from, it's either Lowe's or Home Depot. I can't remember, but I thought it was pretty. Um, this is the spare bedroom. Not much has happened in here except for painting. Oh, and my boob light, but you already saw that in the last my wicker boob in the last video. Got the shelf. Tobin has started bringing clothes over. I still need to fill some holes in here. And um, we're thinking about putting closet doors back on when there were closet doors here, but the, the little pieces that go on the floor that hold the doors in place were gone. So the doors were just like swinging. But so we're going to see if we can get some, um, get some of those pieces and put the doors back on at least in this room and then our bedroom it's made progress we have our bed set up i love it it has oh my new rug kind of small i think i might end up getting like a neutral jute rug and layer them because this I thought it would be bigger. I suck at measuring. But anyway, this bed has drawers. So it has two drawers at the foot and then one on either side. Because as you can see, our bedroom is, let me back up again. Our bedroom is tiny. Um, the curtains are from Target. I They're so pretty. The, Tobin picked them out. This man has good taste, I'm telling you. Well, obviously he picked me, but he, we went to Target, which the fact that he'll go to Target with me and shop is amazing. <laughs> but we went in there to look for curtains and I picked out some white curtains and then he pointed these out and I was like, oh, I like those too because they have a really cool texture. Um, and so anyway, I'm already getting sidetracked, but anyway, um, so... I said, well, I like them both, so you pick. And he's all like, well, whatever makes you happy. And I said, well, that's very sweet, but you're, this is not all about me. It's you too. So if, if you were on your own, which ones would you pick? And he said he liked these. So I got them. We hung them up. And I think it was such a great choice because it's like he said, there's almost, you need a little more the walls are white so white curtains and white blinds and everything else is too much getting to be too much so I thought he did great I got these lights on Amazon to act as our nightstand lights which we don't have a nightstand but I came up with a solution for our tiny room I got these, can you see these? They're little tiny stands that go back, I don't know, they're like two feet. And they've got little drawers, which these drawers, I was surprised. They slide real nice. And so anyway, these are gonna act as our nightstands and they stay out of the way. We, we will have, so this board back here, I've just right now laid it across the two to kind of give us another um, shelf for our extension cord to plug in the lights. Let me turn this off. Maybe the lighting will be better. Yeah. So extension cord, because there's a plug in here. There's no plug-ins out here for these lights, and they are plug-in lights. They're not 
hardwired. Um, so I laid this board across. I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to secure it with command strips, I think, just so it doesn't somehow fall. And then we will each, the extension cord thing has USB, so we can each have a cell phone charger and we can just set our cell phones here when we go to bed. Anyway, that was a long, long drawn out thing to tell you about those. But um, we got the blinds. The blinds are from, where did I, Wayfair, I think. Which I think they're really nice too. No cords, they're cordless. Um, what else? This is the mirror that my that my daughter found um, on the side of the road and it was actually broken. It had, I think I talked about this in the last video, but it has a stand and then it swivels, but the mirror itself was broken or the wood frame was broken right here. So anyway, I repaired that and plus our bedroom was so tiny, the feet on the stand stuck way out and got in the way. So I just hung it on the wall, painted it black, hung it on the wall. Um, we have one of these in here. I'm kind of thinking that this is going to be my closet because he started putting his clothes in the other room. I got this little standing shelf at Home Goods, thinking maybe shoes or purses. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to paint this pipe black just so it looks more, you know, kind of like an industrial vibe and just not a big metal pipe. Painted the vent. I painted the screws and the little thingy that you use to open and close the vent gold. That was my daughter's suggestion. I thought that was cute. So our room's coming along. I'm really happy with it. I'm so excited. We're about ready to move in. And then the last room up here is my craft room, which I just painted this pink wall today. It's Retro Pink by Bear. So I have a pink accent wall in my craft room. We put up this little small ceiling fan from Lowe's. It was only 40 bucks, I think. So that's pretty cool. And the blades are reversible, so you can have either white or the, the wood um, side showing. Got, we brought this from my house. This was in my craft room. My new Cricut that I got for Christmas. Thanks, Mom! I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to. The closet over there, um, we did not put the rod back in because this is my craft room, so we just put um, put the main shelf back up, which was this one, and then I found this out in the garage. This shelf came out of one of the other closets that were in the basement. And so I've brought over a, cute, a few things. I think my craft table is gonna be here so um, so that there's space behind it so actually when I'm crafting I'll be looking this direction and then when I want to do videos I think uh, now you're facing the wrong direction but normally you would the camera would be facing me and I think that the light will make it nice and bright for when I'm doing craft videos I just got this rug today at Home Depot it was only $69 it's indoor outdoor but I thought it was cool so that's all that's happened up here so far again haven't painted the doors yet so let's go downstairs down my new cushy stair runner like i said nothing much has happened in here i haven't done these stairs yet because tuesday we're having someone come over and give us a bid for some work down here and so if we decide to have that work done i don't want to put a stair runner because you know construction guys up and down the stairs they'll ruin it we're getting a bid to have this wall taken out we, we don't know if it's load bearing probably but um because that's going to be our gym but if that wall was gone that would be so sweet um so we haven't even painted down here yet this is kind of our lay down area now it's got saws and stuff 
Tobin's still been working on trying to get this black mastic up, which he's doing a good job. I don't know why. I keep telling him, I don't know why you're wasting your time. We're just going to cover it up. Who cares? But whatever. <laughs> we took out the fireplace. Actually, one of the electricians that was here bought the fireplace for a hundred bucks, the wood stove. Um, it was old and ugly. And I ordered an electric stove that um, is coming. It's on back order, which that's annoying. But anyway, so not much has happened here. Um, we did, so see how this floor is like, this is how it was. This is the same flooring that was in the kitchen, and that's what it was like around the edges. Like, did you not install this right? I don't understand. Why is it peeling? Well, I mean, obviously we ripped this piece off, but why is it peeling or rolling all around the edges? So weird. This will be the gym. Uh, the floor is primed. The walls are primed in places where there was some grossness. Don't even get me started on these electricians. I am not happy. And if you live anywhere near me um, and you're going to have electrical work done, well, let me know before you do it because I would not recommend these guys. This is how they left the wall. Like, are you serious? You're just going to leave my wall like this? I mean, I could fix this, but I don't think I should have to for the amount of money that we paid for this new panel. He said he was going to fix it, but he didn't want to. And so I had to throw a little shit fit. But I don't even know if it's going to happen at this point. He hasn't even asked for a second half of his payment, and I'm sure as hell not going to offer. So we'll see. Anyway, we bought um, uh, self-adhesive, like almost like industrial carpet squares for in there since it's going to be a gym. I'll show you in a minute. This is... The laundry room so we've had some if you are subscribed to my blog then you saw my newsletter where I talked about all the crap that had happened to us with the electrician that's a long story the washing machine um, flooded out this hole flooded the basement flooded into that room we had to get plumbers over here there was a big giant I'm not sure if it was in there or in the floor drain but some big giant fur, hairball, cat food, whatever else all combined that they yanked out of there. Nothing's happened in here. I'm excited for this little bathroom though, but we wanted to get the upstairs ready so we could move in. Um, let me show you the carpet tiles that we got. Maybe there's stuff all over it. Hold on. Okay, it's just, um, can you see that? Just like, almost like you'd see in a, a you know, gym, a regular gym. I think they'll look nice though. So, um, this is the paint for those um, tiles down there. So anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. I will, um, what will I do? I will link it here. No, I will, I don't know.